lit vlogs. Yay! I filmed this part after the day one part, so like, bear with me. So since this is going to be the shortest week of the lit vlogs, I decided to start with an introduction. Lit vlogs, like I said, like I will be saying later on in day one, <laughs> is a working title. And uh, it's basically just going to be showcasing me and my struggles and my progress suffering throughout college um, during this period. And um, it's going to have a little bit of, you know, tips here and there if I can find anything useful, which I hope I will, so, you know, you'll be wasting your time. And at the end of every vlog, which should be about 16, 14 minutes long for all the entries, like, wait, no, wait, no, 14. I mean, I guess if I include the weekends, then yeah, 14. It'll be like around 16 to 18 with my uh, takeaways at the end where I basically explain um, some stuff I learned throughout the week or, you know, just, you know, little tidbits of useful things or things that I found particularly interesting or, I don't know, remarkable throughout the week. So yeah, this is going to be something new for me and I hope that you enjoy it. And I know this is very specific because I'm a literature major, a sophomore in college, but I hope that this will help people along the way or at least entertain you with the hardships that I must endure this second semester. I will do my best to vlog the whole semester because, you know, it's gonna suck if I don't, but yeah, I really hope that you enjoy. and. I hope that I can be consistent with this and obviously in between the vlogs I'll try to make some of my, you know, regular content but just an update, I will be updating <laughs> I will be kind of switching it up because um, I want to stick with probably shorter video formats as much as possible so that I won't have a hard time editing and you guys will be able to watch them and not fall asleep or lose interest uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments of, of of this whole thing, if you're liking it. But, I mean, this is the first one, so would you really be able to form an opinion? But anyways, uh, leave your comments, comments, your support, whatever. I hope you are all doing well. I know it's been ages. Yes, I'm back from the dead. Quite literally. I literally died in the first semester. It was traumatizing, to say the least. Uh, another video for that. And I hope you enjoy. Week one's pretty short, about three days. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, right. I'm like forgetting to say it. But, okay, I, I wasn't gonna, like... You know, spread this information everywhere for privacy reasons, but just to help the people who are going to be studying this course in the future, and or in any school for that matter. I am a I am a literature major at Ateneo de Manila University, and yeah, I obviously will not be able to expose every single piece of material that I will be given because you know. It's not allowed, but I will be vaguely referring to them every now and then, especially if they interest me or if I'm having particular, I don't know, trouble or struggle with them. But I would love to talk about that with you guys and share that with you so you kind of get a glimpse into the life of a literature major. I think I've mentioned this already, but yes, I am a sophomore and is already halfway through my sophomore year, but for some reason I decided to document this now because I'm, prop I'm kind of in like a space where I'm sort of stable because I'm not waist deep in requirements yet. Might be speaking too soon, but yeah. I have four subjects this quarter because it's quarter system right now. And the next quarter I'll have five. So yeah, just you know a little bit of background information so you know like the balance of the load. And I hope that you will not be struggling as bad as me, and if you do, then 
hang in there. <laughs> um, I have no idea what's gonna happen. Hopefully, I'll be able to balance everything out and, you know, just cope with everything. <laughs> That's basically what this series, this vlog series is going to be about, just trying to make it through this alive, mentally, physically, in every way, and trying to balance my academics with my life, you know, like trying to stay regular on my exercise and, you know, trying to, you know, not burn out basically so if you like that kind of content then this is defi definitely for you yeah i am filming this pretty late and i'm exhausted but i have to go wash dishes so again without further ado <laughs> welcome to day one of week one of lit vlogs working title um so basically today was the first day of school of the second semester i mean Technically, it's already tomorrow, but it's 12.32 a.m. of February 11, 2021. Yesterday was February, February 10, and I honestly didn't do much aside from read the introduction of my liter, lit, literary, literary theory class. Yes. Uh, strokes. Um... Um, anyways, wow, well, I wasted like a whole minute just stuttering, but okay. So basically, I didn't really do much today. I had to get groceries, so hopefully tomorrow I'll get things done. I need to read a bunch of introductions and syllabi before I start doing stuff. And then hopefully I, none of my work will pile on top of each other. And I'll be doing about two to three minutes of like each day for every vlog so yeah i hope that you enjoy that and yes new location new hair <laughs> we have a fit in the room i'll talk about that in a different video but yay second semester hopefully it won't be as traumatizing as the first one that's also another video but yeah um thanks for watching uh if you're a literature student or just want to watch me suffer, then welcome to my journey of suffering and trying to stay alive mentally and academically throughout this P word, you know? Okay, um, I hope you have a great night and I'll try to catch up on some stuff and then go to bed. Welcome to day two. The dogs are sleeping on my bed right now and Update. Okay, so my eyes look red because it's like 1 a.m. and I really need to go to bed, but so today I was able to read through about three, yeah, three of three out of four subjects for the, si the syllabi, the syllabi, yeah, and um, I don't even know if I said that right, but so I'm doing well, pretty much. I've already listed down what I need to do, like, for the subject. So, little tip, uh, each subject has its own post-it. So, that's a thing. And I think that would really help, you know, just a little obvious tip from me. And another thing I wanted to talk about real quick is how huge internet connectivity plays what i'm not even my grammar is not right right now but hello the role that internet connectivity plays in the motivation of a student for online classes is probably is huge and i don't think it gets talked about enough because i saw a huge shift in my motivation compared to like when I stayed in a place where the Wi-Fi was faster, I was like, ready to work. I was like, yeah, let's do this. And then like, I do it. And then I wouldn't have an excuse to not do it because the Wi-Fi was good. And here, in the place where I live now, where we live now, it sucks, it sucks ass because it doesn't reach this part of the room where I actually have a desk. So sometimes I'm forced to sit in front of a TV with a shared laptop and it still doesn't load 
the ISIS website, it shows a little dinosaur and it says no internet even if I load it so many times and it works on my phone and I don't like using my phone when I do schoolwork because it distracts me so it's been really hard um, I mean at least for like second quarter but like hopefully this time I'll you know learn some I've, I've already learned some things I am not speaking coherently at this point but yeah please uh, if you're an, an authority figure who is researching about that topic, please know that it's so freaking hard to be motivated to do stuff. So it cut out because I ran out of storage, so I had to offload some apps because my phone is only 16 gig. Uh, so yeah, um, that's another thing. Like I said, it is extremely difficult to do things when you don't even have the connection i'm basically going on and on about this because it's it frustrates me so much because i saw such a huge dip in my progress of first and second quarter and i lived in different places both times and even if i only had three subjects as opposed to the six subjects i had in first quarter it was hell it was actual hell and i don't ever want to go through that again it was like a false sense of security and like oh my gosh i'm not even gonna get into it right now but like yeah something's in my eye now i should really get to bed i'm gonna try to exercise tomorrow because i didn't do it today even if i was supposed to because i was nervous about a zoom call and it turns out the zoom call didn't even exist and i have no idea where i got that information in the first place so yeah, that's basically college in a nutshell. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully I'll do better tomorrow. I only had one more. Uh, I was supposed to finish like what was left of module zero for art appreciation and then go on to philosophy and read through module zero as well. But hopefully I'll be able to do all of those tomorrow and begin on the readings and everything that I've uh, put in my post-its and start my self-portrait for art appreciation that's due on due, hello? Drew on Feb 15, so that's an update. Yeah, I'm wearing the same shirt. What about it? I'm like sustainable fashion. <laughs> okay, I'm done. I don't know how I'm gonna sleep. Help me. Good night. Hello, day three. So a little snack in between my um, work doing art appreciation and it's do I'm doing pretty well I'm on a roll she wants my fruit loops if you think cornflakes fruit loops and almond milk is disgusting please comment down below I would love to know share your cereal recipes with me um yeah I'm going to finish module zero for art appreciation today and hopefully go through the whole module zero of philosophy and then circle back and start my readings for inlet 42 yay happy chinese new year yay wow 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 but also louis scared so bambi's hugging him right now <laughs> Gucci has no reaction. She has no fear. <laughs> I'm about to go to bed and just an update on my progress. I was able to do most of my introductory mo module for art appreciation. But the Wi-Fi kept acting up so I'm finishing that tomorrow for sure. Including the self-portrait and the discussion boards. Moving on to philosophy, that's for sure. And doing everything, and then, like I said, I'm circling back to Enlit 42 to start on the readings because I'm going out on Sunday. So, yeah, uh, just a reminder to uh, keep up the good work. And if no one told you you're doing a good job, you're doing a good job. Please take care of yourselves. Also, I was today years old when I found out that tonsil stones were a thing, and that's absolutely disgusting. But 
I didn't realize that I've been having them my whole life. Like, I would just, like, cough really hard as a child, and it would be, like, this small th Ugh, it's gross. It smells awful, too. Why am I touching my face? I just removed, like, a bunch of black, like, white heads. I don't even remember the difference anymore. There, there's stuff in your face, and you get them out. I think blackheads, yeah, they're mostly blackheads because they were really inside. I just removed a bunch of blackheads from my face a while ago. That's why I look all splotchy, but Gucci's here. She was invading my bed a while ago before I had the tonsil stones existential crisis. So yeah, that's it for this academic week. I might still film for tomorrow, who knows, but because I don't really take... Uh, I don't really count weekends because like I still do work <laughs> except Sundays they kind of you know like I don't know I still do work I do work no matter what but I try to take as much breaks as I can just to make sure I don't burn out but yeah I'm gonna go to bed now and I'm gonna lose storage so yeah this is basically day three the end of day three I'm not gonna count tomorrow's day four I'll just count it as like a weekend bonus content if you will so yes enjoy goodbye so good morning it is not day four but the weekend saturday to be specific and as you can see it is a gloomy shroomy umizumi morning day and we got a sightseer here and this is her daily routine, by the way. And finally, I will get my art appreciation done. I have a MacBook Pro that is ancient, that is really good for storage, but very laggy. So I wish that Canvas would load on it, but it won't, because I prefer to read texts on there but yeah we'll just see how i'm going to go about this because i have like so many readings that i have to save today and start on plus that self-portrait so let's go and i have to water the plants unfortunately i can't show you that part because i'm running out of memory Hello vlog watchers, so this is going to be the last video that I'm going to be filming for this week one. An update, I finished modules, no actually I didn't finish module zero of philosophy, but I do plan on finishing it. And then I'm finally going to be starting the readings of a lot of subjects, so... Yesterday I was able to get some stuff done for art appreciation, I finished my self-portrait and everything, I'll probably leave a photo of it here, which is horrendous but you know i'll probably make something weird with it but yeah i hope you enjoyed and i'm charging my phone right now that's why i'm looking at the wrong place but hope you all enjoyed and yeah we just came from bgc that's why i look like this oh i didn't get to take like enough but like I hope you all appreciate this. Ooh, it's so cute. I, I was wearing contacts as well. But like, yeah. So far, so good. Um, tomorrow's Monday. I have to catch up on a lot of stuff. So, hopefully I'll be on time with everything. Bye. Till next week. So if you made it to the end of this vlog, thank you so much for staying till the very end. I am extremely aware that the format and structure of the whole thing is still all over the place so i'm working on it if you have any suggestions of what i should share with you or any ideas anything really comment down below please i would love to hear what you think and so with the end of this week's vlog i will share with you a quote from art objects by jeanette winterson that i really love i had a lot but i had to narrow it down specifically because there's about 10. So here it goes. Art is odd, and the common method of trying to fit it into the scheme of things, either by taming it or baiting it, cannot succeed. Who at the zoo has any sense of a lion? So 
I'd like you to just think about that in your spare time <laughs> or right now I don't know like there's a lot of other quotes here but they're a little bit lengthy and I love this by the way art objects by Jeanette Winterson I think it was only 10 pages long so if art and questions about art in general interests you I highly recommend her essay and it just made me think about a lot of how think a lot about how I look at different types of art and you know the general goodness of a certain piece and how one would come to judge it and how others would come to judge it so it made me put a lot it put a lot of things in perspective for me okay so yeah and this t this week's okay bye this vlog's tip of the week i'll start doing this for every end of the vlog is make a list for literally everything that you do if it puts you you know in a peaceful state of mind i know this one's an obvious one but i feel like it's a simple but effective tool to really get things done and i'm just going to be sharing with you little tidbits of that and i'm gonna move on to week two because i'm filming this um outro already in day two of week two so i'll see you in the next one bye y'all